Coming up next on Auto Show TV, we get our first look at the Renegade, Jeep's all-new SUV at Elmwood. Plus, we head out to Maddie Imports in Fall River to look at a couple of really nice Audis. Also, we present the all-new 2016 Acura ILX at First Acura. And we help you sort out the whole question of buying versus leasing. All that and more next on Auto Show TV. I know, right? I just blinked out. I know what I'm do saying. I do have coming in my mouth. I know. <laughs> It's Auto Show TV. Good morning, happy Easter, and welcome to Auto Show TV. This morning, I'm John Coletto. We're here at Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence. So here is the newest addition to the Jeep family. It's the all new 2015 Jeep Renegade. We're gonna check out this little guy in just a few minutes. But first, we're going out to Fall River to Maddie Imports. Victoria is standing by to show us a few Audis. Welcome to Maddie Imports in Fall River, where they specialize in new and pre-owned Audis and Volkswagens. This is Audi brand specialist, Ryan Laura. Ryan, this is our first time visiting Maddie. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the dealership? Okay, thanks Victoria. Uh, this is Maddie Imports. It's a family-owned dealership. We've been here since 1981, uh, family-owned by the Maddie family. And we specialize in Audi and Volkswagen, new and pre-owned, as well as some other off-brand vehicles as well. So we have a great selection here. Uh, today we're going to talk about some certified pre-owned vehicles that my general manager handpicked uh, down in Florida uh, that show some really great value with the certified pre-owned warranty. So Victoria, the first vehicle we picked out to show you today is the Audi A3. It's a 2015 model. It's the newest addition to the Audi family and it is a four-cylinder turbo. Uh, it has 220 horsepower and 258 foot-pounds of torque, so it feels like a six-cylinder, but the fuel economy of a four-cylinder. Um, the A3 has some really nice standard features. Uh, even in a base model, you're going to get bi-xenon headlights as well as LED tail lights. You do get real leather seating surfaces as well as a panoramic sunroof. So Victoria, this A3 in particular does have some really nice features on it. Uh, one of them being the advanced key option, so the car senses you when you walk up to it. Dual climate control, uh, heated seats, and uh, the interior LED lights. Um, the A3 has been a big hit. We've been selling a lot of them, uh, mainly because of the price point. Uh, this vehicle is anywhere from the high 20s up into the $30,000 range. All right, Ryan, this one looks really fancy. What do we have here? This is the complete opposite end of the spectrum uh, in Audis compared to the A3 we just looked at. Uh, this is the Audi S8. Uh, this is what I consider the holy grail of Audis, actually. It has 520 horsepower. Wow. And it still has the Quattro all-wheel drive system that everyone wants. And a lot of other really nice safety features and luxuries like the Bang & Olufsen sound system, the uh, adaptive cruise control, and it actually has active lane assist. So this car basically can drive itself on the highway for you. Uh, you have cameras in the front and the rear of the vehicle uh, for the, you know, making sure you don't bump anything while parking. Uh, and of course, the, all the S models get the Alu optic mirrors uh, to signify it is an S model, not just a typical A8. Now, Victoria, what makes this car even more unique is it's the only vehicle with a fully aviation-grade aluminum chassis, which makes the vehicle much more rigid and stronger than a steel chassis, but also lighter, for, so it is more efficient on fuel. This is a certified pre-owned, so you can actually pay around the $90,000 price range with the extended warranty included. Uh, so it's a lot of value to a customer that's looking for an S8 performance and look without the price tag of a brand new one. You do have memory seating for driver and passenger seating, as well as 22-way power adjustable massaging driver seats. I'm experiencing with, that right now, which is amazing. <laughs> yes, five different massage modes, and it has heated and cooled seats. And you do also have a retractable display here that can go in to, you know, get out of your uh, view while you're driving. And uh, this little display here, see if you can touch that there. You can actually draw on that if you want to enter in letters into your addresses or maybe you want to navigate around the map a little bit. Uh, Audi's system is very user friendly. Our multimedia system has won all the awards for being most user friendly compared to the other luxury car competitors. Uh, you do have uh, blind spot indicators as well as active lane assist that will keep you centered in the lane. And um, if someone wants to stop short in front of you, this car will stop you as well, which is really nice. Um, the full leather package does give a full leather dash 
on the doors as well, you have the suede and leather two-tone. Okay, and finally, Victoria, I'm going to show you a vehicle that is literally one of a kind because there is only one of these vehicles ever made. It was made exclusively for the president of Audi North America. It has an exclusive color, which on camera you may not really be able to see it too well, but it is a dark green. And it has an exclusive interior as well. So there's no other car in the United States ever like this. This is the Audi S5. It has 333 horsepower and 328 foot-pounds of torque. It is quite the machine. It has Quattro with a um, torque vectoring rear differential. Uh, for a little sportier ride, as well as an uh, active dampening suspension to give you great handling around those corners, uh, through the back roads and whatnot. The interior is one of a kind, which we'll show you, and it was an exclusive package that does cost around $13,000 just for the interior, and the paint was a $6,000 option as well. So this isn't your typical S5, um, but you do have the S5 grille, the S5 uh, Alu optic mirrors on the side, as well as the dual pipes in the rear. So people know it's an S5, but they've just never seen one in this color. We work our tails off in sales, service, and parts to make sure you have a great experience here. Uh, we're family-owned dealerships. So we like it when people support the local family-owned business. Uh, we always make sure you have the, uh, always get a great price, get the most bang in Olufsen for your buck, mm -hmm. I guess you could say. And uh, at, the, at the end of the day, we always make sure people leave here with a smile on their face, giving us good reviews on the internet and recommending us to their friends and family. So we're here in Fall River, Maddie Imports, and our website's maddieimports.com, so you can check out our inventory anytime. There's a new addition to the Jeep family, and it's just arrived here at Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence. Take a look at the all new 2015 Jeep Renegade. The new Renegade provides full-size Jeep capability and a smaller, lighter SUV. But make no mistake, it still boasts that timeless Jeep styling. The Renegade is packed with smart technology and cool colors in this fun to drive little guy. So let's introduce you to the all new Jeep Renegade. Here it is, the all new 2015 Jeep Renegade. It's very deceiving to look at from the outside because there's a lot of room on the inside. And this Jeep is already bragging about best in class awards. We have best in class interior cargo space. We have best in class headroom and shoulder room best-in-class four-wheel drive capability, of course, because it is a Jeep. And there's a big demand for small SUVs. You can fit this anywhere, go anywhere, do anything. Now, the Renegade comes in several models. It comes in the Sport, the Latitude, the Limited, and of course, to stay true to its roots, the Trailhawk Edition. The Trailhawk model gives you full undercarriage skid plates. It gives you an upgraded suspension, tow hooks, it's basically the off-road version right out of the box. The Jeep Renegade comes available with two engine sizes. The standard 2.4 liter Tiger Shark engine, which is paired with a 9-speed automatic transmission. That allows the Jeep Renegade to get up to 35 miles per gallon on the highway. You can also get it with a 6-speed manual turbo engine, which is very popular. Now the first thing you're going to notice with the Renegade is its unique styling. Once again, none of our models blend in with the crowd. When you see this vehicle coming, you know it's a Jeep. And what stands out in particular is the seven slotted grille, which is unique to all the Jeep models. You'll also notice something cool inside the headlamps is, uh, is the front of a Jeep with the seven slotted grille. That's so cool. It is cool. <laughs> Now one of the things I wanted to mention about the Renegade is the Renegade is the fun, sporty, funky model in the Jeep lineup. There's six different rims that are available that you can kind of pick and customize. There's nine different exterior colors and there's some pretty loud, vibrant colors. But there's a lot of things that you can also add to this vehicle as far as accessories. Uh, mud flaps, tow hooks, you can also add quite a few options as far as roof mounted bars, light bars and cross rails for carrying accessories. Now as we reach down and open the back here, Victoria, you're gonna notice a lot of space in the back. And again, class exclusive interior vol volume space. 60-40 split folding seat, you have some storage space underneath here, and there's an available shelving unit that comes with this vehicle where this shelf is a three-tier shelf. It'll actually sit in different positions in the cargo area. Again, that's an option. Now the first thing you're going to notice on the interior of Victoria is the amount of space in here, the amount of room. I'm six feet tall and I have plenty of leg room, 
plenty of shoulder room, hip room, uh, plenty of head room. I still got another four or five inches here. Uh, so again, the vehicle is very deceiving to look at from the outside. It's very roomy. We expect this to be a big hit. I, I really think that Jeep knocked it out of the park with this one. It's a small SUV that gets great gas mileage, but you can still get all of the high-end features that are found in, in several luxury SUVs, such as forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning and assist, uh, rear cross path detection. So again, a lot of high-end safety features are available on this model, uh, and we're super excited about that. But even on the entry-level model, you still get a lot of standard features. Obviously, full power. Uh, you get a ton of safety features, nine airbags, front and rear crumple zones, side impact door beams, uh, remote keyless entry. You also get a backup camera, which is standard, and that's, that's big as far as safety. Well, it looks like there's a lot going on with the steering wheel. There is, and, and again, this is the iconic Jeep steering wheel. It's unmistakable. It does look like there's a lot going on on this steering wheel. All these arrows and buttons hook up to your EVIC, which is your Electronic Vehicle Information Center. And what that does is it tells you the exterior temperature, the direction you're traveling in, it tells you your current miles per gallon, it tells you your miles per gallon since your last fill up, it will tell you the individual PSI of each tire, and not just if one tire is overinflated or underinflated, but it'll actually give you the readout of the individual tire pressure in all four tires. Again, a big safety feature. And it also comes standard with Bluetooth. And of course, we can't wrap it up without talking about the four-wheel drive system because that's what Jeeps are known for. This four-wheel drive system is a full-time four-wheel drive system. It requires no driver input. It'll actually sense wheel slippage and it'll transfer power from the slipping wheels to the non-slipping wheels to keep you moving forward. There's also a selector switch down here that allows you to select the terrain uh, that you're in, whether it's snow, mud, or sand. And it just tells the vehicle how to shift and where to transfer the power. So again, this vehicle is still staying true to its Jeep heritage. We're super excited that we have another SUV added to our already powerful lineup. We have a lot more coming in, so I'd like to invite all of our friends and customers to come down and take a look at the all-new Renegade. Next up, buying or leasing your next vehicle. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good but maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. If you'd like more information about any of the dealers and deals you've seen on today's show or would like to view previous episodes of Auto Show TV, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. Getting a new vehicle soon? Great. Are you going to buy it or lease it? That's the question everyone considers. Buy it or lease it? You've probably gone through this exercise, so which one makes more sense? I think all customers should consider leasing versus buying. Um, leasing gives you all the benefits of ownership with no market risk. And again, what I mean by that is you never have to worry about being upside down in your vehicle. Leases are designed to get you more vehicle for a lower monthly payment. The drawback is that there rarely is any equity for the leasee at the end of the term. So just how do they arrive at a lease payment? There's set numbers from the manufacturer from the leasing company, and then there's some variables. The variables are the price of the vehicle, which the dealer controls, the lease end value, the residual value, which is controlled by the manufacturer slash leasing company, and then there's some, some things that are controlled by the, by the leasee or the purchaser, and that's mainly mileage. How many miles are you doing? So one key to a great lease is residual value. The more the vehicle is worth at the end of the lease, the better deal you are likely to get. Cars with the highest resale value will typically have the best lease programs. And that's why Toyotas make so much sense and so many people lease Toyotas 
because of the strong resale value. So therefore, some vehicles make more sense to lease. Absolutely. There are, there are some, some vehicles are, are great lease vehicles and some, some just are not. And the biggest piece of that is the resale market. With the lease, you're putting out less money up front, you're putting out much less money in a payment, and at the end of the three-year lease, versus if you purchased the vehicle and financed it, if you look at where you stood at the end of three years purchasing it and three years financing it, you've saved thousands of dollars. Um, here at Colonial, we lease almost 65% of our new car business, which is about 8% more than, than the national average, but because their programs are so strong and the lease on values are so high, it just makes sense to drive a new Toyota every couple of years instead of playing the finance game every five. Okay, so what about buying? Getting a loan and financing the vehicle. The good thing is, if you pay it off, you own it and own whatever value the vehicle still holds, plus you no longer have a car payment. Well, a, a lot of the consumers that we work with, we focus on trying to have a payment that is affordable to them um, and sometimes that does require a loan to be six or seven years in duration. The important thing is, though is that again the quality of the vehicle is there to support the value uh, because at the end they want to be able to trade in that vehicle and have some equity that they've built up so that they have a, a down payment going into the next transaction. And with any contract, know what you are agreeing to. Understand the worst case scenarios. The lease option is attractive to folks who want to have as, uh, a requirement as little down up front and to keep their monthly payment as small as possible. But what we find is that if they look at the fine print in the contract, there are obligations that they have at the end of the term related to wear and tear, damage, mileage, that um, increases the, the overall cost. And at the end of the day, we often find that leasing costs the consumer more than owning and, and financing with a traditional car loan. So what about mileage? If you go over the miles, you will pay. But many dealers actually say it makes more sense to lease if you drive high miles. You can purchase more mileage than the typical 12 to 15,000 miles, and you can purchase it for a very, very, for a very cheap amount of money. Um, building extra mileage into a lease is 10 cents a mile. It's virtually, you, you can't drive a car for 10 cents a mile. Um, it costs you more than that as you put more mileage on the car. So the manufacturer, by, by letting you purchase mileage at only 10 cents a mile, um, is, is, is taking on the brunt of the depreciation that you're, that you're putting into that car. A lot of people think they're not candidates to lease because they do too many miles when in actuality they do too many miles to buy. And what I mean by that is you purchase a vehicle and buy the vehicle. You finance the vehicle for 72 or 84 months with little or no money down. Three years from now when you go to trade that vehicle in, the vehicle has 60, 75,000 miles on it. And again, you most likely are gonna owe more than what the vehicle's worth. At least with the lease, there's a predetermined residual at the end. One bit of good advice, if you plan to lease, don't put a lot of money down. If you were to put four or $5,000 down on a lease, leave the dealership in two months, total the car. Your insurance company will pay your lease company to satisfy the lease. If they're not paying the value of the car, that four or $5,000 you put down is now gone and your insurance company is not obligated get it back to you. But finally, here are some takeaways. Don't forget to consider the vehicle's residual value. It's best not to put a large down payment on a lease. Even if you drive 20,000 miles a year or more, it still may make sense to lease and prepay the miles up front. Read the lease contract and understand what you're getting into and know what happens if the vehicle is totaled. If you put low miles on a vehicle and you're fine with keeping it for seven, eight years or more, then it might make more sense to buy it. So do your homework, ask lots of questions, and happy car shopping. Coming up, we present the all-new Acura ILX. You're watching Auto Show TV. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. 
we could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Good morning. Well, here it is, the brand new 2016 Acura ILX, and they're here now at First Acura. Clearly, there are substantial improvements to last year's model, from the engine to technology to its safety features they call Acura Watch. So let's check it out. The new Acura ILX, here at First Acura in Seekonk. Auto Show TV's Acura experts. Bob Woodworth is joining us this morning. Bob, the ILX is finally here, and I'm sure you guys are very excited about it. Well, we really are, Victoria. We've been waiting for this car for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, the ILX, as you know, came out in 2013 mm -hmm. as, as an entry-level uh, vehicle in the Acura line. What they've done this year is really take and supplement that vehicle with a series of luxury, safety, and performance features to broaden its appeal to a much wider audience. Starting at the front of the vehicle, you'll see the signature Jewel Eye headlights. Mm -hmm. um, as a, as a mark of the Acura brand, uh, each one of these segments can be, is aimed individually to give you a much better view of the road at night. They incorporate not only the daytime running lights, but the headlights and the high beams as well. Nice. In addition, you have LEDs as uh, turn signals and stoplights. One of the complaints of the, earlier, of the earlier car was that there was a little too much road noise. Mm -hmm. So what Acura did was to replace the standard alloy wheels with some noise absorbing ones. Technology off the RLX model, our flagship sedan. Uh, the ILX has, has an enormous array of features, including a, uh, a suite of features called Acura Watch. Mm -hmm. Now, this is big news this year. Acura Watch is a whole series of items that are designed to enhance the safety and assist the driver. And they made it available on the base car. That's great. As an option. So it's really made that whole suite affordable. From a performance standpoint, they've added or upgraded, I should say, from the 2.0 liter engine to a 2.4 four cylinder engine, 2.4 liter that produces 201 horsepower. They've coupled that to an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission with torque converter. The same powertrain you find in the four cylinder TLX. So it's fun to drive. It's fun to <laughs> drive, it's got plenty of power, and it gets great mileage too. One of the most notable features in the center stack, we have the on-demand uh, multifunction display uh, in the premium and the technology models. For the most part, it's used for the audio system, but you can also utilize it for uh, on the cars with navigation. Some of the nav functions come in there, as well as phone. Um, you have full uh, leather interior, heated seats, you have heated outside mirrors, and you'll also notice, you may not be able to see it very well, but there's a little outline etched in the edge of the mirror. That's the indicator for the blind spot warning system. You have the tilting and telescoping steering column. Right on the, uh, on the left spoke of the steering wheel, you have volume and channel controls for your, for your audio system. Below that, you have the controls that work the phone. Answer, hang up, and allow you to dial by voice. Over on the right spoke here, we have the uh, buttons that function for the cruise control system. Below that, you have the, the buttons that operate the um, multi-information display that's right in front of the driver that allows you to see things like tire pressure, average fuel economy, uh, remaining oil life, and so on and so forth. Dual zone automatic climate control. And this is a big, this is a big deal in this car. Um, it is a fully automatic climate system, so basically set your temperature, forget it, the car will do the rest, but your passenger can also tweak their comfort level on the side as well. So Bob, tell me more about the Acura Watch. Well, Acura Watch is a whole series of technology features designed to assist the driver. They consist of, well, first of all, a blind spot warning system. We have an, an indicator in the outside mirror when a car comes into the blind spot, the driver is alerted. Another one is lane departure warning. 
there's a camera that sits up behind the rear view mirror. That camera looks forward all the time. When you're driving down the road at 40 miles an hour and above, on a relatively straight road with well-defined lines, the system will detect the lines, and if you start wandering across the lane lines without using your turn signal, the system again will flash a warning and beep at you to let you know. The more active systems are things like lane keeping assist. Mm -hmm. Lane keeping assist can be used with or without cruise control. The camera locks onto the lanes and then basically will keep the car in the <laughs> middle of that travel lane provided that um, you know it can identify the lines. Right. The adaptive cruise feature uses radar that's in the grill, mm -hmm. which looks ahead of the car, looks for an object that basically you might run into. If it detects an object, the system can do a couple of things. It can flash a warning at you in the display. It'll say, break, break, break. If that doesn't work, it'll start yanking on your seatbelt to wake you up. If that doesn't work, it can stop the car. There is also a more basic forward collision warning system that uses just the camera mm -hmm. that's up in the uh, up behind the mirror that alerts you to something out front, but really doesn't interact with the vehicle at all. So these are great safety features, and you know, although we can't physically see them, we know that they're there, which is a great peace of mind. They, they're a great peace of mind. They're, they're, they're those things that hopefully you don't need. Right. But boy, oh boy, if, if you get into the situation. We want them. You want them. <laughs> Definitely. Big time. So Bob, this is an Acura. Are we talking about 40 grand for a price? Not at all, Victoria. Uh, in spite of all the changes and improvements that have been made to the car, the base ILX still comes in under $29,000. Wait, under 29? Exactly, under 29. That's yep. a great price. It really is, and a great, great bang for the buck. So if any of your viewers, are interested in coming down and looking at the ILX or any of the other fine Acura models that we offer, we invite them to come down to First Acura on Route 6 in Seekonk. Uh, we'll take great care of you. We have a wonderful service department and we'll make sure that all your needs are addressed and that you'll leave here happy. Very nice. Oh, there you are. We were here to do the Renegade. What are you doing inside the Challenger? I know. <laughs> well, you know, this one's so nice. I thought we could do a segment about it. I think we can. It's definitely segment worthy. Yes, it is. We'll get the Hellcat and we'll do a segment down the road here at Elmwood. That sounds good. All right. Meantime, if our viewers have any questions about the new Renegade that we showed you earlier in the show, you certainly come down here to Elmwood Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in East Providence. I'm John Coletto along with Victoria Moran. Be safe on the roads this week, everybody. Don't drink and drive and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.